with your girl Judy. Today, I am still not through organizing. Give me one more day. But I decided I would come on and uh, prepare this lemon icebox pie. It's a grand lemon icebox pie. Okay, let me show you what you need. You'll need a can of Eagle Brand milk. You will need three eggs. You will need three lemons, whole lemons. And make sure you wash them before you use them because you're going to need to take a little uh, lemon zest off the lemon. You're going to need to grind up the, uh, the yellow part of the lemon and uh, get a little zest from it. Okay, you will also need uh, a half a cup of fresh lemon juice. And a graham cracker uh, pie crust. I think we got everything. Yeah. It's not very much that goes in a lemon icebox pie. And uh, I'm going to get started right away. You'll need a lemon squeezer. And uh, I'm going to show you the book I'm taking this from. I'm taking this from the... Uh, let me get the beginning. Okay. The Unity Cookbook. Unity Church Cook for You book. I have been cooking with this book for about maybe 20 years. And uh, you can tell because I have all of my different recipes in this book. I don't want to lose my page. Okay, all of my different recipes in this book. I have it in here. I had this book when I was working at the Assisted Living, uh, Silicaga Assisted Living, um, and uh, this book really taught me a lot. This is my my food Bible. I have a Bible, but this is my food Bible. This this taught me a lot. So I'll put it to the side and get started. We're gonna. Uh, Grate up about a half a teaspoon, let me see, a half a teaspoon of uh, lemon zest. Let me find the recipe, because I think it's a half a teaspoon. But my mom did actually teach me how to make a lemon pie. But I go by this book also. It's the same thing. They don't change. A half a cup, okay, a tablespoon of lemon rind. We need a tablespoon. Okay, I'm going to grate it up. And you'll need a grater. And make sure you wash your lemons off. My mama used to always squeeze them together, get them all squoze up, and then she would take them, get the lemon uh, zest off the lemon. Okay, I think that's about a tablespoon. Well, let me get a little bit more. I want to make sure I got a tablespoon. Yeah, before my mama got ready to make a lemon pie, she would take... All day, she would be squeezing on lemons. And, uh... She get them lemons nice and soft. 
She squeezed on them all day. Just walk by and squeeze them. Okay, that's a tablespoon of lemon zest. I'm going to put that to the side. And, uh, now we'll need a half a cup of lemon juice. And I didn't squeeze the lemons. I just washed them and cut them in half. Okay. I'm going to go away. You see how I squeeze the lemon juice? And squeeze up about a half a cup of lemon juice. And I will be right back. Okay, now you are going to need to separate the eggs. You put the white part in one bowl and the yolk in another bowl. And by the way, I'm going to show y'all the uh, hummingbird cake cut and the chocolate better than help chocolate pie. I'm going to show you those uh, two desserts that I made because I cut them. Uh-oh. Make sure you don't get no shells in there. I'm going to have to break that one on off. Okay. And separate the egg from the, the, the yellow from the from the white. And this this will make one pie. Try not to get no shells in there. Because we're gonna beat beat the white up and make a meringue. And remember I told you I don't use um cream of tartar. Putting the white over here on the side. Okay. Then I'm going to add the Eagle Brand milk. Get it all out, get your little spatula, and get all that uh, Eagle Brand milk out. Okay. You're going to add a tablespoon of lemon zest. And half a cup of lemon juice. Then you're gonna beat it up real good. Then you're going to add it to your pie shell.
Let me get a spatula. And this does make one pie. I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, meringue up. I'm going to stick the pot in the oven for about maybe five minutes. That helps it gel better. I'm going to stick it in for about five minutes while I'm making my meringue. And I will be right back. Okay. This is about maybe two tablespoons of um, sugar. And I'm going to gradually add it to the uh, meringue. First, I'm going to start beating it. And I don't like using a uh, cream of tartar because it makes the meringue tough. Uh, the sugar in it only makes it like I tried to call the name of it divinity. It makes it turn out to taste just like divinity, divinity candy. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go away. I'm gonna beat it up for about maybe for about five minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay. I beat the uh, egg whites up for about maybe five minutes. Now I'm going to put them on top of the pie. And you're going to sear your edges. Okay, now I'm going to stick it in the oven for about maybe five more minutes and uh, I'll be right back. While this is in the oven, I'm going to take you uh, down in my den and show you my hummingbird cake and my um, better than help chocolate pie. So I'll be right back. Okay, here y'all go in the order that they were made. I'm going to go with the um, hummingbird cake. Here's that hummingbird cake. And here's a slice of it. This is a really good cake. It's so moist and so rich that you can't eat a, a big hunk of cake like this that I have cut. But I'm just, I cut it big so you can see it. And I put the pecans around at the bottom, the whole pecans. I lined it up at the bottom. And this is a really, really good cake. Now we're going to go over here to this chocolate, better than help, chocolate pie. This was good and rich also. I cannot eat much of this. I mean, just a little tiny slice would be good for me and uh i'm on a diet too so i'm not gonna eat it i'm just gonna uh, display it i cut it and display it and it it's it's been in the uh, refrigerator for like maybe mm, two or three days and uh, you see it's done formed them little uh um uh, bubbles on top of it And here it is. Okay. Oh, there's my mama in that corner over there. Let me show you my mama. 
she died after this. She died uh, a year after taking this picture, and she looked good. She was seventy-five. No, eighty. Eighty. Eighty-one. She was eighty-one. Oh my God. She was 81 and she looked real good. Look at her skin. She's got beautiful skin. Beautiful hair. And that's her hair. And here is a wedding picture of her and my dad. And my dad is still living. He's 81. James Caldwell lives in uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And this is one of my mom's uh, bridesmaids. My mom. My dad, the preacher, and uh, James uh, James Arnold. He 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 was a Paul Bear, Ring Bear, Ring Bear. My uncle uh, Ralph McKinney, and uh, another one of her uh, bridesmaids. And this was way back in the '60s. And look at the uh, the curtains, how pretty they are draped in the uh, the uh, blinds. My mom had, my mom's people had a really, really pretty house. And uh, they took care of it well. Um, they got married in Sylacauga at my mom's house. And this is my mom and dad sitting on the porch a year before she uh, passed away. And there they go again, mom, dad, me, my sister, and my uncle Ralph. My mom had three brothers. She's only got one, and he's he's the only surviving brother. Uncle Ralph. And here they go again, wedding picture. My mom was pretty. That's my mom. That's my uncle, uh, uncle, uh, little man. He's, he's passed away. There's my dad. Don't I got a good looking dad? And that's the one that's still living, Ralph McKinney. He's still living. That's my mama's mama, Ruby McKinney. She's pretty too. And that's her husband in the background. Uh, Nehemiah McKinney, he was a good looking man, had gold in his mouth. Oh, he's good. And that's my dad's dad. My grandmama didn't come because she was scared to travel the highways, you know, getting in, on and off of them internets. I mean, internets. Uh, uh, getting in and the uh, state, the highway on the internet. She she was scared to get, she, she's been scared to travel. So he came from Birmingham to Sylacauga, which is about 50 miles from uh, here, and to see my dad get married at my mom's house. And that's my uncle, Lil Man. Lil Man, Lil Man, Lil Man. Lil Man. Ray McKinney. She had three, she had four brothers. She had four brothers. One of them not there. Uh, but uh, all her brothers had passed away except for that one, Ralph McKinney. He's still here. And uh, that's it. Um, those are the pie, the cakes and the pies. And uh, we're going to get on back upstairs. And uh, my, my, my meringue probably has done uh, um, cooked. I don't want it to get too dark. So uh, let's go back upstairs. Okay, y'all. Here's this lemon pie. I'm not going to cut it because it's hot. Now... Back in the day, my mom would make her lemon pies with um, uh, graham cracker and and butter, and she would mash it around in the uh, in the uh, pie pan. She made the homemade crust. Now we don't have to do that. We can make uh, go to the store and buy it. <laughs> but uh, this is the lemon pie, and I'm gonna cut it and show it to you later. And um, let me get back to uh, not really organizing. I just got to take a lot of stuff out to the barn, to the uh, outhouse or whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm going to put this in the cooler and let it uh, gel and cool. And this is the best pie you can ever 
ever really eat. I like a lemon pie. And um, bye for now. See y'all later in the next video.